What's up YouTube? It's Ann Rapone and I have a cool little video for you guys like I always do. Um, this is going to be a little um, kind of a toggle app that, that goes into your notification bar and uh, you already saw it there. If you look at that, this is, this is um, I'm using, I'm on CM9 ROM but obviously but um, these, are your, these are the regular toggles that I have on the ROM and these are the toggles from the app. As you can see I have a bunch of apps and a few little toggles that I just put in there just to show you guys. I actually do use this a lot, um, but since I have this wrong, I don't really have a use for it except for app shortcuts, which I'm going to be changing in a second. Um, so the app is free. It's called One Tap Quick Bar. Um, that's what the icon looks like. Go ahead and open it up. And um, obviously, there's an upgrade so you can get the uh, pro version or whatever. These are the settings. Or no, this is not the settings. This is about. These are your, um, this is where you can customize your taskbar you, or your task, um, the notification toggles that you get. Um, it's really fluid actually, like it doesn't, it doesn't, um, it doesn't just get, it doesn't get messed up or anything. It's not, not like super status bar where it just replaces everything. This is just for your notification bar, for your notification. It just, it just sits in there. Um, so if you want to go ahead and make a new one, just click new down here. Go ahead and make you a new thing. Um, toggle slash thing whatever so I'm gonna go ahead and click silence and like that like that like that to get rid of them you click on them like that and you can put them back um, we're gonna go ahead and go to the apps so you can go ahead and get an app put it in there and notice how they're all popping up there on the bar and you keep on putting stuff in there I think there's a limit of six yep there's a limit of six icons then you go, keep on going, go to your other apps, whatnot, your shortcuts. You can even put contact shortcuts, which is nice too. And this is what I have on the other one. So let's go ahead and go to let's go ahead and go to design. And as you see down here, if you go back to this, um, you can actually see all the things I just went through. See how it scrolls, contacts. Um, you can actually go ahead and click all those if you want. Other. Uh, that's just kind of whatever. That's actually like that's cool. You can actually put um, the music player in there. And um, yeah, it's uh, cool. You can put your running apps. That's nice too. Camera. I'm probably gonna put that in somewhere. That's pretty tight too. Search. This is quite customizable if you look at it just now here. Definitely want you guys to check out this app. It's really intuitive, really nice. Um, if you go ahead and click design, you can go ahead and choose from your backgrounds. For some reason, the colors aren't showing up that well on the camera. That is a blue. This thing is blue right now, or like some type of like turquoise. I don't even know my colors anymore. Um, <laughs> uh, there's a bunch of little designs that you can choose from. Those, those little clouds are look cool, I guess. I guess that's cool, I don't know. Really know. Icon set. I haven't really messed around with that too much, but um, you can basically tell what it does. Changes the icon look. Text color, I just keep that as it is, but you can change that. Like if you're putting, um, for example, if you have, let's see, status icon. This is, um, oh, let's see, go back to this. It's text colors, for example, it's, I think it's in other text visibility always then it'll show you um see how you see all the little um words or uh the title of the app that's basically what that does you can change the text color in there to white to whatever color you want go to status icons this is basically what shows you when it's on or whatever red orb i usually keep it at transparent because i don't want anything to show that this app is running so it's whatever you can put the date which is nice I wish you could put all of them, like the date, month, and uh, day of the week. That would be cool, but uh, I guess I don't want you to do that. Maybe that's in the pro version, not quite sure. Uh, let's go to other. Actually, let's go ahead and enable one of these. Let's enable the month. Other. Um, this is divider. I usually have this set to the third one. See how it divides the apps right there. There's like a little divider between each app. You can set it to one, which is a style hidden obviously that doesn't show anything so that's whatever text visibility I put that on always just for the sake of the video um, let's go ahead and, and that's about it you just click uh, click this thing up here at the little arrow and now you have another status bar down there and since it is the free version this is the free version you have to actually dismiss one of these so that you can use it and um, let's go ahead and uh, add that one so you can go back, apply, and it works. Look at that, it says the, uh, the month right there. 
go ahead and slide down and there you are your brand new notification toggles they all work you just click on them bam it opens the app still there dsp manager go ahead and open it up bam it works silence that works you can't slide it's it's like a weird it's like a notification but you can't slide it off but i guess that's just how it works so there's not, not nothing to come in complain there definitely a great app definitely you guys want want you guys to check this out this is um this is just some random little settings nothing really major but yeah go ahead and check this app out it's free on the google play store it's called one tap quick bar hope you guys enjoyed the video subscribe and comment and go ahead and like the video if you liked it if not dislike it um yeah thanks